Hi, so this is the fourth video in the series on looking at uh, equations of a straight line and this is particularly relating to gradients and y-intercepts. Okay, so what we're going to do here is look at a specific exam question and this particular one only gives you a little bit of information. What it says is the equation of a line passes through two points. One of those points is 0, 17, and the other point is 3, 5. And it wants you to um, work out or calculate the value of the equation. OK, so um, straight line graph, the equation generally that we use is y equals mx plus c. So the two things that we need to find out is m, which is the value of the gradient, Okay, it's this one, and the bit that we use for that, or the, the formula that we use, is difference in y divided by difference in x. And if you have a look at some of the other videos in the playlist, there's a few examples on how to use that. Um, the other thing that we need to know in order to answer the question is this value of c, which is called the y-intercept. Okay, so in other words, what we're looking for is um, two pieces of information that satisfy this particular um, question, which is that you've got a straight line. Now, along that straight line, um, there are two points. One of them is 0, 17, which is this point here. Okay. And the other one is 3, 5. So it's actually going to be, let's say, oh, I guess round about there. So 3, 5. It's probably not a great diagram, but it'll give you some indication that actually we've got a straight line that goes like that. And what we're looking to do is to find out this bit and also the gradient. OK. So let's have a look at this bit first, which is the y-intercept, which is the easy bit. It's going to be 17 because we need to know where it crosses the y-axis and it's 17 in this particular case because the information tells us. So that's great. We can work that out and that's 17. I'll stick that in brackets there and I know that. Don't need to, don't need to worry about that. Um, the bit I also need to have a go at is going to be the gradient, which is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. OK, now um, one of the things about this particular line is that it's a negative gradient. Um, now there are some, um, some ways of doing this where you can look at something, it'll say something like y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. And the idea behind that is that it will account for negative gradients. Uh, for me personally, I much prefer just to draw a quick sketch and then I know it's a negative gradient. Um, if it went the other way, it would be a positive gradient because it's shaped like a little tick. And if you have a look at some of the previous videos, particularly uh, video one and video two, and I'll put a link through to them uh, on this video, um, you can go through and you can see my reasoning behind all of that. I don't tend to worry about any of that, not at this particular level, because it's fairly straightforward, I think, to work out the differences of y's and x's. So let's have a look at the difference in y. Well, at the moment, this is um, the difference in x is, um, or the, the x coordinates is 0, the y coordinates is 17. So it's going to be 17 at that point. And when it gets down to here, okay, it's going to be 5. So the difference between the two is going to be 12. So the difference in y is 12. OK. So let's have a look again along um, this bit here. So this bit here is going to be 12. And this bit here, the difference is going to be from 0 to 3. 3 there. OK. And what you might need to do is just do a little sketch and work it out for yourself. But all I've done is I've basically said that if I draw a little... Uh, right angle triangle, it will enable me to work out the difference of um, these two coordinates. OK, so I've got 12 divided by 3 is the difference in y divided by the difference in x, which is going to be 4. So in other words, I can now write my equation 
Um, and I can write it out as y equals 4, which is the value of m, x plus 17. And that would actually answer the question. So, a couple of things you need to remember. The first thing is, draw yourself a quick sketch so you can see what's happening. Okay, also um, work out whether it's a negative gradient or a positive gradient, if that's the way you want to do it. You can do it that way if you prefer, I've no issue, whichever suits you. And actually, in some respects, this is a very good way for higher level when you get involved in A level and differentiation and integration, all that sort of stuff. At the higher level, you need to know all of that. Okay, but at the moment, it's sufficient just to do positive or negatives. And it's a negative for, don't forget to put it in, okay? Um, and you also need to know the y-intercept, which is 17, as it's given to you on the information. It's not always given to you, and if you look at the previous video, that will show you how to manipulate this equation to work out the value of c. Um, I hope that's been okay. Um, please do have a look at the other playlist uh, videos if you're not too sure, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.